all right hey everyone welcome back to another video of salesforce bytes and in this video we'll talk about compact layouts right compact layouts are nothing but you know small sections at the top of every record page now if i take you to any record page for any record let's say if i go to contacts and let's take a look at any contact record right you see this section on the top that has a lot of fields here right this is basically nothing but your compact layout right so this displays the key fields that are important identifiers of other records so you might have all your key identifiers whatever is important out of this entire detail section whatever deems important for the record can be highlighted here and can be put on the compact layout right at max you can have seven fields here and this is for lightning experience you can have maximum seven fields right and compact layouts can be assigned at the record type level which means for every record type you would have a different page layout and in every page layout you can have a different compact layout all right and compact layouts and page layouts are independent which means a compact layout can be used in one or more page layouts the same compact layout can be used and there's no hard and fast rule as to uh, having a dependency or an interdependence between these two things right now what if a user does not have access in terms of the field level security so if you have seven fields displayed and let's say the user does not have the field level access to the third field what happens is the next field in the layout will be displayed all right and these compact layouts do not support text area related fields and multi-select pick lists in this particular layout you cannot have text area fields or multi-select pick lists that those are the limitations right let's take a look at this object let's go and say edit object and if i go to the object manager i should be able to see compact layouts here right right now every if for every object you would have a system default but what you can do is you can click on the new button and create a new one for yourself right before doing that let's take a look at what system default has so the system default has name title account name phone email mobile and contact number how many fields seven fields right and if i take a look at this record name which is right here this one this field right here and then you have title account name and followed by email contact owner right so then you have email mobile and contact owner right all the fields are here mobile is not here which means maybe the access is not there or maybe the value is not there if i go ahead and add a value here let's say some value here and try to save it all right and let's try to refresh this so i'm still not seeing the mobile field there might be some reason why why okay the mobile is coming here under the phone section you see this is also beautiful you don't have to have them side by side since both are numbers or you know rather um, phone numbers you have them clubbed here all right so these are the two fields that you see like this so that's a total of seven all right now let's go ahead and try to clone it and create a new one for ourselves so i'll say compact compact layout for contacts right and let's say for this particular layout i don't want all of these fields i just want the level and then the title and probably the department let's say these are the four fields and let's add clean status also all right let's say these are the five fields i want i'll just say save right once i click on the save button and i go back to my record let's click on refresh i still see the same compact layout why is that so because my compact layout has not been assigned right if i take a look at the compact layouts i should have two of them now right but i have to take a look at the compact layout assignment similar to page layouts right if you go to page layouts you can take a look at the page layout assignment to see which profile is assigned what page layout the same thing can be done for compact layouts i'll go to compact layout assignment and see right now the primary compact layout is set to system default i'll just say edit and i'll choose my compact layout and say save once i do that this is saved i'll just save it again yeah this is saved and now if i go back and refresh my compact layout should uh, start showing up this might take time but let's refresh one more time let's go back to compact layouts and now the compact layout for compacts is assigned as the primary one and let me try to log out and log in again maybe that will uh, give me the latest changes let's go back to contacts And now if you see you have the level title department and clean status right so you can create a custom compact layout of your own or you can even you know keep the system default but the problem with system default is if i go into system default i cannot edit it it cannot be edited or modified so if you have to do something different you have to create a compact layout of your own and then you can use it to assign it to the users right right now if i take a look at the record types i do not have any which is why compact layout assignment is directly set as primary compact layout but if you have record types you would have an option to choose 
what compact layout you want for which uh, record type that option will uh, will be available here similar to how you get that for page layouts all right so that was about compact layouts